ESPN proudly presents NCAA Women's Basketball between the Loyola Ramblers and their crosstown rivals, the DePaul Blue Demons. All-American forward Anissa Morrow is knocking down shots night and day. She's third in the nation in field goals, averaging just under 27 points per game. The Blue Demons run everything through her on their offense. She's their go-to player. Let's get you those starting lineups. First, for the visiting Blue Demons, Darion Rogers out there alongside Anaya Peoples, the transfer. Kendall Holmes the third guard on the floor for Doug Bruno's squad. Anissa Morrow, one of the best players in the entire nation. And Jory Allen, the five for DePaul. On the other side for Loyola, it's led by the leading scorer, Maya Chandler, number 10 out there. Sam Galanopoulos, the senior. Also, Anna Brown, her first season as a starter. Transfer, Sophia Nolan. She's been one of the best. No Satori Tannen tonight. It'll be Emma Nolan, Sophia's twin out there to the five for Allison Guth in her first season with the Ramblers. All right, we are set to go. Emma Nolan will jump center alongside Anissa Morrow, and it's tapped into the Loyola front court, and we are underway here from Gentile Arena. Chandler with the ball. She's checked by Jory Allen. Here's Nolan backing her way in. Met on the block, cross court. Chandler unlocks a triple. Long rebound out to Galanopoulos. She's rebounded well from her guard position in the early going this season. Inside, Nolan off the glass, won't go. Quick outlet pass, and here come the Blue Demons running. Doug Bruno, season number 37 at the helm of the Blue Demons. 763 career victories. That's 24th all-time in women's college basketball. is a tr uh, long two, rather. Reined in that time from Mora. Nolan puts the ball on the deck. Back in her way down. Goes up with the righty hook. And that one won't rim out. Tough go on the rims here early on for the Ramblers. Rogers deep three. And that one's pure. Wow, she shot that one from Lincoln Park. Couple of early substitutions for Allison Guth. First season with the Ramblers. After six seasons at Yale, nice acrobatic layup that time from Maya Chandler cruising down the baseline. Ramblers finally on the board. Substitutions are something that DePaul doesn't really have the option to do with only about three players available on their bench. The five that are in right now. Tend to shoot for Loyola. Heffling. Nowhere to go with it. Finds Chandler, a three, and that one's good. Maya Chandler with all five for the Ramblers in the early going and makes good on her second triple attempt of the night. Maya Chandler really needs to be playing well for this Ramblers offense to have a good night. Everything's running through her right now when she's playing confidently. These Ramblers are getting on the board. Stop and pop, that one's good for Rodgers. That's one of the things you'll see, the size discrepancy out on the floor. Pretty much everyone on DePaul between 5'11 and 6'1. As Nolan backs her way down, Peoples will unload a three. No good that time. And a quick outlet to Galanopoulos. Ramblers can tie or take the lead here. Nolan steps through, up and good with the left, and we're tied at nine. Have to mark up on her and face guard her if they're going to be able to slow her down. Morrow, a three. That one way off the mark. Ball still loose. Chandler with five. They've accounted for all nine of Loyola's points here. The two leading scorers for the Ramblers. Chandler at it again. Attacks inside. Wrestled to the floor, and she'll be rewarded with two free throws. The City Council of Chicago named June 11th Doug Bruno Day after he was inducted into the Women's Basketball Hall of Fame. Okay. Nor will I ever contribute enough to society to have a Tyler Rocky Day. But Doug Bruno doing all that and then some. So much for the game. Bruno Court was rededicated at Wintrust Arena as well. He's not just that, but giving back to the game as well. He has the Doug Bruno girls basketball camps where he's mentored over 80,000 young athletes over the course. Kira Shivers in the freshman as Chandler goes to the bucket. Too much English on that one. And here comes the Blue Demon the other way. Morrow bullies her way down low, up and good with the rights. And you're seeing it roll over to this year as well. 
as she turns around and to start playing kind of like a guard too. She's playing inside, but she's trying to learn how to distribute the ball and play more with her teammates rather than just be a straight shooter. This year, more of the offense, like you mentioned, Lauren, running through her. And you can tell by some of the point totals she's put up as she gets one of two who played a career high 21 minutes in the win against Bradley. Galanopoulos thought about a three. Floater in the lane. That one drops. To get in for that easier bucket. Inside, off the glass, and good. Kiki Rimmer that time. Absolute force on the defensive side. Backdoor cut for Johnson. Extra pass looking for Nolan. Kept alive and stolen. Here's Rodgers. No look inside. Peoples up and good with the right. And now DePaul stretches things out. Their largest lead of the quarter is up to six. Rogers is so good at passing the basketball. She's had some turnovers that have been an issue, but her floor vision is just amazing. She's so quick at reading her teammates, finding their cut, and getting that ball to them like a laser. Six assists so far, rather six assists per game this season as there's a walk from Johnson. Just three seconds left here. Rogers dribbles up from half court and not going to get that one to drop. Picked up win number 100 in the season opener against Western Michigan. She's got to be happy with the way that her team's playing, even though they've got a six point deficit here as we start the second quarter and an early whistle there from Maya Chandler as she walked that time. That's just the first turnover for Loyola. That's something that Coach Good got to be happy with, especially knowing that on the other side, DePaul, a team that forces a lot of turnovers. In fact, they force the most in the Big East with 19 per game. Ramblers are doing a great job being smart with the basketball. And what's most impressive is they're not holding it either. They are passing the ball quite a bit, trying to draw out these Blue Demons defenders, but doing so with great accuracy. Mismatch that time. Rimmer can't get that one to go. And somehow, between the trees, it's Shivers to come away with it. And lost it for a second. Nolan hit the deck. And it's gathered back in by the Blue Demons. Aaron shot that time from Rogers, but she gets her own miss and finishes with authority for two. 54th meeting all time. The rivalry has been dominated by DePaul. They've got 43 victories and have won 17 of the last 18. Here's Morrow the other way. Shovel pass. Floater inside, rimming around, and good for Kendall Holmes. It's now the sixth turnover for Loyola, all of them coming in this quarter. Rogers, deep three on the way, and that one's pure as well. Sometimes she needs to have better shot selection, but when they're falling like they are tonight, everything's a good shot. Morrow spins, turns, and finishes. That was a pretty move. Tipped away, stolen by Morrow. Nothing but runway. And there's Morrow to finish on the fast break. She's got 14 outscoring the Ramblers herself right now. This is already becoming the Anissa Morrow show. She plays with so much hype. You can just see it. She's not going to let anybody play around her. She's going to go steal the basketball, take it all the way down, lay it up, and she makes it look so easy. Averaging 27 points per game. Well on her way towards that figure right now. Stolen away by Peoples. One on one on the fast break. Dribbles and buries a jumper from 12 feet out, and Coach Guth needs to call a timeout. Rambler still scoreless in the quarter, almost six minutes in. Peoples wraps her way around the lane and good with the right. Interesting tie along with head coach Doug Bruno to the Ramblers. And Bruno, a part of a very successful staff at Loyola. Coach Bruno is one of those people who you walk in with zero questions and you come out with a million answers. Exactly. That's he, a good thing. He was asking me questions before I asked him a question. Shooting them at a 33% clip, but right now the Blue Demons are putting on too much pressure for any space in the paint. The Ramblers need to start attempting some threes if it's the only shot they're able to get off. Rogers stays hot from deep. There's Mallory Ramage into the game for the first time. Freshman, Galanopoulos has to get rid of it. That one rims out, fight for the board. And it's picked up by Morrow. That's her eighth rebound, almost at a double-double here in the first half of 14 and eight. Dribbles. 
Dory Allen picks it up. Five to shoot. Morrow scoops around, no good. Rebound fought for. Morrow at the horn and gets it to go. Well, there's no other way that this first half could come to a conclusion than Morrow pouring in another bucket. It's been all Blue Demons. It's been all Anissa Morrow here in the first half. She's coming off of a 28-point, 14-rebound outing, and she's well on pace to get to that with 16 and 9 through the first 20 minutes of play. Blue Demons will start with possession here. Half number two underway. Anaya Peoples finds Rogers. Here's Morrow. Turn around. That jumper pure. Picking up right where she left off. Pretty clean game in that first half as well. Just two fouls from DePaul. Four on the other side for Loyola. So neither team finding their way into the bonus. Goes downhill. Brown, deep three on the way. Short, rebound, grabbed authoritatively by Morrow. She's got the double-double now at 18 and 10. Not a lot of speed for the Ramblers on offense right now. They are moving the ball. Good genes, too. Her father, Edward, a linebacker at Nebraska. Her mother, Nafisa, was an all-conference forward at Nebraska. In fact, Doug Bruno recruited her back in the 90s. And then her brother, Ed, 5-3 Sheevers guarding the 5-11 Peoples. Ball dumped down low. Rogers toe on the line. Launches and hits, but it looks like Morrow may have caught an elbow. It's either the eye or it's that left ankle possibly getting tough. Getting up under her own power. I think you're right on that one. She's yeah. wiping her. Yeah, wiping that, that right eye. Anissa Morrow was being attended to on the sidelines right now. She's checked out of the game. It looked like... Kiki there Rimmer was... came in for that one. And... Looks like she's still sitting over there. She's that Ferocious defender, too. You look at some of her steal numbers. She hasn't had one the last three games, but she posted four against American and then three. Shot clock resets. It's down to 10, though. There's Galanopoulos. Rogers, the crossover on Johnson. Step back, fall away, catches nothing, but there's Allen to pick up the loose change and put it back for two. We'll see each of these teams dig deep into their benches as Nolan, the turnaround hook, is good. Peoples weaving through traffic. Corner, Holmes, no good that time. Rogers will try a three, and that one's good. That looks like a shot you just take when you're walking off the court at practice. Yeah. She's such a tenacious player that even when she's inside, she can still get stuff done. Three for three. She's been good from the line all year long. Last season, DePaul went to their 25th NCAA tournament in program history after a 22 and 11, and then lost to Dayton 88 to 57. Met by Sheevers. Morrow's gonna try a straightaway three, no good. Inside off the offensive board and good. A few contributing freshmen on this roster. Nice one-handed pass inside. Morrow couldn't finish though. Gets the board and gets the bucket as well. Morrow backing down Chandler. Floats one up, left it short, and Chandler comes away with the board. Good. Loyola can hold for the last shot if they want, but they seem like they're in no rush for that as Galanopoulos drops in a bucket for two. Sam Galanopoulos now with six points in this third quarter. She's playing with great hustle. Galanopoulos is not letting this one go easy as that last shot misses the buzzer. It's hard not to love Coach Ruth. Everybody loves her. She's just a great person. Guth was on his staff from 2008 to 2010, but the ties are even deeper. Her uncle was even a high school teammate with Coach Ruth. Chandler trying to get this thing under 30. Loyola has done well tonight. Is shoot from the free throw line. 23 points off turnovers in 19 second chance points. So we have a much closer ball game right now. These are still valuable experiences for some of these 
Loyola Ramblers, you got a new head coach as Anna Brown. When you do have change, you are gonna be kicked in the mouth a couple times and something that you hope you can turn around for next year, certainly when these two teams will meet up again with the automatic qualification, even though they would have gotten in at large had the tournament been played. Up and good, a strong move there from Kiki Rimmer. There's a number of players that just flat out need experience. You've heard Coach Bruno when he told us, we've been rolling with five, six, this was a team pick tied for fourth in the conference. Creighton picks second. Villanova third and then the tie with DePaul and Seton Hall. Said we're still getting it together. We've had some speed bumps. And one of the big things is having defensive consistency with those legs burning out. Brown's got to get it off. Does. Not good. But there's Nolan with the offensive board off the window and good. It's been an up and down game to start, but ever since then, you have seen a team put on a showcase as Anna Brown. for this team, where if they kicked it into this gear. Have been relatively close. You look at the loss on the road at UIC. The story of tonight, Anissa Morrow, her seventh double-double of the season. You start Big East play at home against Georgetown on December 18th. Nice turn around up and good for Kiki Rimmer. The stretch of the game, but even went down about 30 points. Just her second free throw misfire of the season. There are also two players that Coach Bruno said we missed on twice. He had enough spots for the both of them. Said they used those two. Here's Brown. Can't get it to go. Cherry picking on the other end. And a rimmer, good for two, when they travel down to take on St. Louis. A-10 opponents in abundance this year. It will be St. Louis as a nice turnaround there for Chandler. Right here at Gentile Arena. And a couple days for this Ramblers team to watch back this film, find out room for improvement. So they get right back to it. There's Maya Chandler with another bucket. Even when you are down 26 points, you still want to see your players hustling till the very end. If you start to give up in these moments, that's what can continue to trickle in to the next game. You got to snap this away as fast as you can. That's going to do it here from Gentile Arena. It was all Blue Demons from the second quarter on. Ramblers gave it a fight in the first 10.